My name is Bob Parks and I'm a candidate for the chairman of the Massachusetts Republican Party. As we're in the midst of a campaign, I decided to do something a little different. For those of you who don't know me, I'm a father, a production manager for a community television station in Athol, a syndicated op-ed columnist, and my columns can be read on a variety of websites and print publications nationally. I do radio interviews on talk radio stations across the country, and I write and produce a television program that's aired in Massachusetts, New Hampshire, and California. The reason I'm running is a personal crusade of mine. Last summer, I had the opportunity to talk to Democrats in my area of the state. I promoted the Republican ideal. I spoke of self-reliance and low taxes, all that good stuff. And in the end, those Democrats told me they loved my ideas, but wouldn't vote for a Republican in a million years. I had to sit back and reflect on why. Could it be because Democrats routinely call us racist, bigots, and homophobes? They say we're all rich, all white, could care less about the poor, and are more than willing to kick the homeless to the curb. This is what happens when we let our opponents define who we are. The Republican Party has been slandered, and until these untruths are thrown back in the faces of those who lie about us to this day, we, as a party, will never achieve the level political playing field we seek. Thus, the basis of my campaign is communication. Should you elect me your chairman, I will write an op-ed every week so we can comment on the recent events on Beacon Hill and how it affects all of us in the Commonwealth. I will let the people know what we would have done differently so it'll be on the record. Should you elect me your chairman, I will produce three-minute radio spots so people driving to work will look forward to our weekly message, unfiltered by those who oppose us. I will also produce a monthly television program for the free cable access so people can see Republicans as we are, not as the mainstream media depicts us. And by the way, all these things, I already do. When Bob Kraft bought the Patriots, he sought out the most brilliant mind for his head coach. He selected Bill Parcells, who turned the team around and paved the way for Bill Belichick, who, as we all know, has won at three, going on four times. When I decided to run for chair, I knew we needed a winning strategy. I attempted to find out how much it would cost to have former Speaker of the House Newt Gingrich serve as a consultant. I later received an email stating that if you elect me as your chair, Gingrich Communications will craft a custom strategy for Massachusetts free of charge. I know some of you may think, Newt Gingrich is too divisive. Newt Gingrich is too conservative. If you remember the contract with America that catapulted the Republican Party into power in 1994, there were, aside from welfare reform, no social issues on that contract. Gingrich Communications knows how to win, and victory will be my primary objective. I've also been told that I was referred to as a right-wing nut. I've been called worse, thanks to CNN. I find our inter-party bickering amusing. So tell you what, when we're in the majority, we can argue about our issues all day, as we'll then be able to actually do something about it. Right now, we're divided, and that must be comforting to those who campaign against us. Regardless of our ideological idiosyncrasies, why can't we just be Republicans today, conservatives and moderates tomorrow, if necessary? We know we can raise more money than the Democrats every couple of years, but money isn't buying us victory. With a message, Chairman Crates and Speaker Gingrich's Rolodex, Getting exciting speakers into our state will greatly enhance our ability to raise necessary dollars, dollars that will help all candidates, not just one. I don't think the Democrats will know how to handle a Massachusetts Republican Party you elect me to lead. I ask you for your vote next Tuesday. Thank you.